guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. The question on everybody's mind is, Hylion Corporation, a buy right here. They've just uh, entered into a SPAC with Tortoise. Uh, they're gonna help them go public here sometime in the fall. Uh, I pulled an all-nighter uh, doing research on this company. I was just intrigued. I'm gonna take this a little bit different of a couple ways. I'm gonna disclose I bought a position in the company, okay? With that said, I'm gonna try to provide as much transparency for you guys so you can go ahead and go in and look at, you're gonna to have to look at about 32 pages. And uh, Hylion has done a great job of summarizing their investor profile in a PDF document. It's open for public disclosure. If you guys wanna go in and read their 8K, you can. That's also available. Most of the information uh, is on their detailed website as well. I will provide links to all three of these. With that said, I don't think I've ever been more excited about a company that I've researched most of the time, even sometimes within five minutes, I can disqualify a company right away and I move on. But as a steward of the investing game, I'm always looking for those opportunities. And for the most part, having a value invested portfolio put aside, uh, I do, uh, just for the sheer sport of it, uh, look for those opportunities that maybe looking to address an addressable market. And Hylion is doing that. And they're doing it in three different fronts. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump you into the investor profile. We're gonna go through it together. And I'm gonna provide you my insight. I'm gonna provide you some highlights of what I saw. Uh, remember, I've got multiple hours on this document. So I encourage each and every one of you to do the same. The intent of this video is to bring awareness to this company, the prospects both now in the short term with their hybrid solution and then down the line with where Hylion is going with their company. Very exciting stuff, but I'm going to try to keep emotion aside and we're going to address this as if it's business. But the question is, is Hylion a buy right now? We're going to jump into the investor profile and by the time the end of this video comes, Hopefully you can answer that question for yourself. We're gonna jump into the investor profile now and do a detailed review. So we'll go ahead and take this opportunity to jump in here and talk about the, uh, the acquisition uh, by Tor uh, Tortoise through a SPAC of Hylion. Uh, it's more of a technology play than anything. And uh, in my deep analysis of the company, uh, I really did find a lot of encouraging things and uh, prompted me to go ahead and take a position in the company. But uh, this information that we're going to cover here, it's, uh, it's open to the public. I'm going to share this information in the link below. Uh, I encourage each and every one of you guys to go through this and uh, hear what I've got to say as far as what I was able to highlight uh, from the investor presentation. I, I found it to be extremely detailed and uh, very easy to understand. If you were interested at all uh, in this company and, and learning more, it's actually extremely intriguing. I encourage you to open that up and uh, and take a read over it for yourself. Certainly, you're not going to get everything from a 10-minute tutorial on the company, but uh, I'll leave those links in uh, the description below as we go through this tutorial here. So here's a snapshot of Hylion's team and just a, a couple highlights here. Uh, how Tortoise uh, Acquisition Corps uh, came to identify Hylion as a potential investment. They uh, have a goal of uh, lowering global CO2 emissions, basically, uh, to identify those businesses that are seeking a low carbon or no carbon footprint. And uh, they identified Hylion out of about 200 companies based on the research that I did. And, and so it, it was really a, a, a select group. Uh, that was even considered uh, for this level of funding uh, through acquisition through the SPAC. So uh, just a snapshot here uh, of the Hylion team and, uh, and a discussion, a summary of proposed transaction. And it's uh, important to note here for you guys that are unfamiliar, uh, the ticker symbol right now is actually traded under SHLL and will convert sometime in the fall. Uh, when this acquisition is complete and the company actually gets listed. Anytime we're looking to evaluate a company like this that hasn't come into earnings, it's so early in its inception 
uh, it's interesting to look at what market they're actually going after here, what problem they're trying to solve. Uh, and I found this intriguing. I had no idea uh, on this uh, problem, the 36 billion metric tons of CO2. It's kind of hard to even quantify that. But uh, I didn't know that the transportation industry was the number one polluter. So Hylion is looking to take this uh, head on. And a uh, very interesting statistic here, 335 Hylion Hypertruck ERXs, which is one of their two product lines that uh, we'll mention later on in this. Uh, could eliminate 1 million metric tons of CO2 going forward. And I think this is what's attracting it to a lot of the major players uh, in the ship liner business. So Hylion's mission is uh, very simple, be the leading power train provider of electrified solutions for the commercial vehicle industry. Um, this is really interesting, especially a couple of the bubbles, obviously uh, gaseous hyd hydrocarbon gas uh, and electrify the trucking industry. Uh, it does have the lowest total cost of ownership. And then we're talking about going after uh, an $800 billion market opportunity. And the forecast here for Hylion, uh, they're forecasting out to 2024. And the figures that they're talking about for revenues into 2024 only account for 2% of that $800 billion market opportunity. We covered just the highlights here. There's so much detail in these, uh, but two main product sets are what really jumped out to me. The first being uh, the most attractive for me in the short term is that they can integrate their hybrid electric solutions right away. And I think that's a lot more attractive to the uh, freight, freight liner industry. Uh, I, it's great to mention that uh, Hylion actually is owners of 10 patents right now. Um, so as we cover this product set, it's, it's really... Uh, incredibly uh, attractive that they've got these all covered in patents, but uh, proprietary battery battery systems, and then on the right the Hypertruck ERX. These are incredible trucks. I mean, these can tow. They they can go from zero to sixty five in twenty seconds. And you might be thinking that's not that good. Uh, they can do that with an eighty thousand uh, pound payload. So the the direct drive in the DC uh, power that they're generating on these trucks are incredible. And then at the bottom with the algorithms and the software available to the actual truck driver to monitor these systems while uh, en route uh, is just incredible. And finally, the existing infrastructure, I think there's about 729 to be exact, um, CNG fueling stations, which is the uh, natural gas fueling stations for these trucks. So just an incredible uh, dual punch here when we're talking about the solutions offered by Hylion. Quick uh, cross comparison here in what's available today in their hybrid solutions uh, over here with a 6%. This uh, rounds out to about 25000 uh, over the seven year total cost of ownership of the vehicle compared to the diesel option. Uh, you do lose a little bit uh, on the payload here, uh, which is interesting enough, but this is actually um, significantly less. Uh, in the fuel cost over the seven year period and uh, with a little bit more of an upfront cost here uh, for the hybrid solution. When we kick over to the future uh, solutions, these are this is where it really gets staggering. I mean, comparatively speaking, the Nicola is uh, almost 50% uh, less efficient uh, when uh, compared to the diesel option, it, and it's not going to be available until 2023. Uh, the uh, Hypertruck ERX, which is basically the entire truck, uh, for a future solutions from Hylion is just incredible when you look at this total total savings uh, cost of ownership, which is basically what we consider the bottom line. What's this thing going to cost over uh, the course of a given time period? And it's just incredible to look at the Nicola uh, comparable here and then the increase here in uh, the savings versus the diesel being 35% more efficient. I couldn't believe that. I had to do a double take when I saw it. Uh, it's a little uh, and more efficient here when its uh, uh, seven-year payload is actually compared. Uh, so very comparable on the entry price here at 220000 compared to 235 and 200 respectfully for the Tesla version. The fuel uh, price comparison here, this uh, compressed natural gas here is um, incredibly efficient when compared to the diesel and the electricity option here. And then we've got the, the real dagger for a lot of Hylion's competition is, I've already mentioned, um, the compressed natural gas here has 729 existing infrastructure stations. 
And so look at how much build out in infrastructure needs to occur here and here in both hydrogen and electricity here and the cost associated with that at $12 billion. Uh, and then of course what everybody's interested in, in here is the uh, net negative on the carbon emissions output and this is the, the real um, the real takeaway here with uh, this triple triple option uh, offering from Hylion, which is what everybody in the industry is looking to move to, uh, going to net carbon negative. Pay close attention to this slide because this is the, this is a blow your mind away slide. Um, Hylion blows away the competition in this. Uh, we're talking about the range in miles up over 1,300 miles. It just blew me away when I reviewed this slide. And uh, the Hypertruck ERX here, this is charging time at 10 minutes. Look at the Tesla. Um, and this was indicative of what I saw here at Tesla charging stations all over this country. Uh, people just sitting there. It's like a cult following. They just sit there and, and it's, it's like it's awesome to waste their time. But in the ship liner industry, time is going to be money. And uh, here it is. They're right neck and neck with Nicola on the uh, charging times. Uh, payload capacity blows away the competition at 53,000. Um, and then uh, performance for, um, for 0 to 60. Um, I think this was an 80,000 payload as well from 0 to 60 time. Uh, so very competitive here as well. So Agility has pre-ordered a thousand of these Hypertruck ERXs. So if you remember, this is the future solution the Hylion is offering here. This is just extremely exciting, guys. Um, to operate these trucks more efficiently uh, and at a lower cost savings and what the entire industry is looking to achieve uh, here that's quoted by the CEO of Agility is to tackle this emissions problem without having to completely replace their fleet. And the phase-in and the integration piece with the, the other hybrid solution that's going to be offered uh, in the meantime before they can roll these trucks out here in 2021 uh, is going to provide that scale in to uh, phasing the fleet into these uh, hypertruck solutions from Hylion. Again, just a snapshot here of the market that Hylion's going after here for uh, a potential replacement market. Uh, 800 total billion uh, to replace the existing fleet. So um, just to give you a snapshot of the potential there and, and the target customers that we're looking at here in the, in the logistics space, just an absolute, you're going to recognize a ton of these names here of uh, potential target customers for Hylion uh, as they look to uh, integrate their fleet. This is like the road mechanic slide here. I just found this absolutely intriguing, um, especially this section here. Hylion is developing a subscription model to offer fleets representative maintenance feedback, and that's to uh, provide the truckers with assistance as this data uh, comes in and is feeding the truck analytics to know, you know, what potentially the problems uh, might be to the actual driver, uh, but also that those data and analytics are, are provided back to um, this mobile mechanic, for a lack of better terms, and, and uh, just to easy read out and display. Uh, the feed sensor comes from the actual unit itself back here on the axle and is fed up here to a display here um, uh, for the driver up in the cab. Um, this is just a, a display here of what this is going to look like. That's why I call this almost more of a technology company than anything, so very exciting stuff that these guys are talking about integrating. Here's a slide that speaks to the acquisition here in the battery management system here. They acquired a battery division of another publicly traded company back in 2018. It's uh, actually integrated now uh, with Hylion. The CEO of the company said that they were basically producing these batteries uh, to outlive the life of the truck. So uh, quality systems and checks in this slide and uh, I encourage you to read deeper into this. It's incredible. Two solutions here from the uh, hybrid diesel solution and then the hybrid uh, compressed natural gas solution. Uh, so two different styles of trucks here uh, to add uh, a little bit of uh, opportunity for um, both of these fleets, uh, adding some additional horsepower here for the CNG solution. Uh, and then also the um, hybrid integration for existing trucks and covers the incentive here to install this actually on new trucks. I assume that that's just because it's easier to um, uh, install uh, coming right off of the assembly line. 
the bottom line up front, and these two case studies were just incredible. Uh, 15000 in the first column uh, per truck in fuel cost savings, uh, and then the um, CNG uh, replacement uh, initiative here. Uh, the problem being that those trucks are underpowered, so we talk about a 50% reduction here uh, in scenario number two here on these um, case studies. Just another shot here on this slide that earmarks the uh, uh, pre-planned uh, or the pre-order for a thousand of these uh, ERX hyper trucks uh, from Hylion and uh, just kind of shows the uh, commitment of one of the major uh, uh, freight line business, a global logistics leader here through Agility in placing this order and uh, it's a binding agreement it's done the orders are in so this is exciting stuff going forward uh, for the future solution of these trucks so the cost savings and how inexpensive the uh, compressed natural gas generator on board these trucks uh, 32 percent less we've already covered that so pretty impressive and so the generator uh, will basically power the battery packs that will go to the electric drive motor on this so uh, d fairly simple concept honestly on these trucks and uh, uh, in marching toward this zero emission uh, ev drive uh, it seems as if Hylion has really uh, solved uh, all of the problems and meeting the end goal uh, of net negative carbon footprint. Takeaway from this slide is that Hylion actually has these trucks out now. They are in reality. They started uh, demoing them in 2019, and I think the CEO said that they've got uh, 2 million test miles already on these trucks. So this just kind of gives a snapshot of the anticipated rollout over the next uh, two or three years and expecting these fleets to be rolled out to their um, uh, to their partners and here's the path to market here that Hylion is uh, uh, elegantly displayed here um, using uh, some of their logistics companies and uh, some of their product assembly line uh, to get them to the customers and and integrate this technology uh, basically into the logistics line here quick snapshot uh, all this talk isn't uh, meaning anything if we can't uh, justify the financials and the bottom lines for these companies to integrate this technology right away here's a quick equity statement for you guys we've already kind of covered this uh, after this it'll be uh, 235 million held in cash and then uh, 325 uh, for a total here that's going to flow to the bottom line and the balance sheet to help actually scale up uh, what we've been talking about here, uh, what their plans is to to actually uh, get these products to market. So here we forecast uh, earnings in 2024 of about two billion, and that's what I was saying here when I um, identified that it was 2.2 percent of the uh, 94 billion and an annual addressable market. So pretty intriguing here. Uh, for the first two years, 2020, 2021, uh, EBITDA will be uh, in the negative uh, and then step up here, um, 8 million, 214 million, and 602 million. I would certainly want to pay attention to these percents of margins. Uh, they're anticipating uh, close to 30% uh, margins on these. As the orders for the actual trucks start to pick up here in 2022, 2500, 8500 as we go forward, and then the, um, the axle basically that's the hybrid solution here uh, starting here in 2020 so some real uh, return of value to shareholders immediately right out of the blocks for Hylion so in the recap here it says it all basically we just covered uh, Hylion is the lowest total cost of ownership uh, it's the only electric net carbon negative emissions solution which uh, all the industry wants to uh, march told we talked about the agility uh, customer putting that 1000 uh, truck pre-order uh, we're talking about the CNG infrastructure uh, we, that was the 729 fueling stations that are already existing that can be put into immediate use uh, for these trucks it's compatible with any class 8 trucks from any manufacturer uh, so all of your major companies are going to be able to integrate seamlessly right away and then no additional capital required to get to volume and production all right guys so we've come back out of the investor profile certainly hope you guys enjoyed that if you're interested in some of the technology that Hylion is looking to put into the marketplace to solve carbon emissions, uh, really uh, address the uh, addressable market with most of these freight liners not wanting to reinvent the wheel, they have to continue to operate and it has to be cost effective. 
uh, in my research, it appears as if they've done that. And I don't see uh, an alternative to Hylion. I know there's some competitors in the market, Tesla and Nikola being those two competitors. I think Hylion blows them out of the water. Uh, just for reference sake, I looked at Nikola and I didn't like what I saw. It was one of those that I discredited as an investment within the first 10 minutes. For you guys that follow me and my subscriber base, you guys know I'm not one of those bandwagon investors. And when Hylion came along, I actually did the research on my own without the intention of making a YouTube video. However, with my subscriber base, perhaps finding value in my opinion, you guys know how defensive I am, you guys know how scrutinizing I am on companies. Uh, Tortoise Acquisition Corp actually combed the landscape and they covered about 200 companies before they came to the decision uh, that Hylion uh, traded under the ticker symbol SHLL was their company. Guys, if you like what you're hearing coming through the message, you wanna hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Leave your comments at the bottom of this video. This may strike up some conversation as to whether or not Hylion is a buy at this point. Uh, I'm, I'm in at 200 shares right here. I'm probably gonna be buying more of the company. That doesn't mean that you need to go out and jump into the company head first. I need everybody out there that watches this content to make sure that you do your own diligence. I'm gonna provide you the avenue for success. All you've gotta do is walk it. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the video and good luck in your investment future.